Hello everyone, Marissa here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're like me, you love capturing memories from your adventures and creating beautiful keepsakes. In this video, I'll show you how to start a scrapbook travel journal, which is a fun and creative way to document your trips. Just to give you a background on how I travel journal, during trips, I only bring a pocket or passport size journal like these Galen Leather Field Notes or a Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook to jot down notes. Separating the on-the-go journaling from the scrapbooking allows me to be more present and mindful during my adventures as well as travel light without carrying too many journaling supplies. For me, it's the perfect way to capture all the beautiful memories of my trip. If you are interested in learning about my simple travel journal setup for trips, please check out the related video that I'll link in the description box below. For today's session, what we will discuss is the scrapbook type of travel journaling and the creative process I undertake once I'm back home from my trips. Before we begin, let's go over the supplies we'll need. First, a journal. For scrapbook style travel journaling, I prefer a large sized notebook like an A5 or a regular traveler's notebook size to accommodate photos and embellishments. You can even make your own journal like these travel junk journals that I made to document my trips to France and Switzerland. Second, you'll need photos from your travels. To create smaller prints for your journal, I recommend using free mobile apps like Maldiv. Collage apps allows you to arrange multiple images into grids or layouts on a single print. When using these collage apps, choose grid options like 4, 6, 8, or 9 sections within a 2x3 or 4x6 aspect ratio frame size to fit standard 4x6 photo paper. For example, if you select a 4 grid layout on a 2x3 frame in the Maldiv app, each photo will look like this. Since I don't currently own a photo printer, I either send the collage files to an online photo printing service for delivery to my home or take them to a local photo printing shop at the mall. Both options are cost-effective methods for obtaining high-quality prints. Third, I highly recommend gathering memorabilia during your trips, such as tickets, maps, brochures, restaurant placements with logos, and any other small flat items that can be adhered to your journal pages. These free souvenirs serve as a unique embellishment that add authenticity and personal touches to your travel scrapbook. While decorative stickers, washi tapes, and stamps can enhance your journal aesthetic, the memorabilia you collect on your adventures will be the most meaningful and irreplaceable embellishments. They will transport you back to the specific moments and places every time you flip through your scrapbook. Be sure to keep an eye out for these little keepsakes as you explore your destinations. Collect them carefully and don't forget to jot down notes about their significance or the memories associated with them. These details will make your journey richer and more vivid when you start assembling your scrapbook back home. 
fourth, as I've mentioned earlier, embellishments like washi tapes, travel theme stickers, and stamps are not required, but they are nice additions to your scrapbook pages. They add visual interest and reinforce the travel theme. Fifth, you need pens for journaling. My favorite scrapbook journal pens are the Zebra Sarasa Vintage Clip Pens, Muji Black Gel Pen, Pentel Energel Klena Black Pen, and the Unipin Fineliner Drawing Pen. The Unipin Fineliner uses pigment ink, which can easily be used with watercolors or water-based markers for coloring as the ink will not smudge when wet. Additionally, you can utilize other art supplies you may already have in your stash, such as the highlighters, markers, colored pencils, or watercolors. These versatile mediums allows you to add pops of color, create decorative elements, or even paint illustrations directly onto your scrapbook pages. Incorporating a variety of writing and art materials not only adds visual interest, but also allows you to express your creativity fully. Feel free to experiment with different techniques such as calligraphy, doodling, or mixed media to make your travel journal truly unique and personal. Next, you will need glue and adhesive runners or tapes to adhere your ephemera and photos to the pages. I like using the Scotch Permanent Glue Stick to adhere paper ephemera securely and a 3M double-sided tape for photos. Lastly, a good pair of scissors is essential. I have two pairs dedicated to scrapbooking. One is an 8-inch Fiskars non-stick scissors for cutting large papers and materials, and the other is the Tim Holtz Mini Snip Scissors, which is excellent for fussy cutting or intricate details around embellishments and photos. Having the right tools and adhesives makes the scrapbooking process smoother and ensures your cherished travel memories stay intact for years to come. Now that you've prepared your supplies, let me share with you some scrapbook journaling tips to help you document your travel adventures in a meaningful and visually appealing way. First, consider a unifying theme or color scheme for your travel journal. This could be inspired by the destination itself, such as what I did for this Japan travel spread inspired by cherry blossom and a kawaii aesthetic, or a vintage theme for my friend's travel journal. Choosing a theme that reflects the essence of your destination can help set the tone and guide your design choices throughout the journal. For example, my Japan travel spread features soft pink hues reminiscent of cherry blossoms, along with the whimsical stickers and embellishments that capture the cute and playful kawaii culture. On the other hand, my friend's travel journal embraces a vintage aesthetic, incorporating elements and ephemera with a timeless nostalgic feel. This theme complements the rich history an old world charm of friends transporting the viewer back in time. Establishing a cohesive theme not only provides a visual framework but also allows you to immerse yourself in the spirit of your destination. It can influence your color palette, choice of embellishments, and even the style of your journaling and lettering. Remember, the theme you select should resonate with your personal experiences and memories making your travel journal a truly unique and meaningful keepsake. 
Next, consider using chronological or destination-based layouts. This will help you organize your memories in a logical flow, making it easier to revisit the journey as you flip through the pages. You can dedicate sections or spreads to specific locations, activities, or highlights of your trip. When arranging your photos, memorabilia, and embellishments, think about creating visual interests through varied layouts and design elements. Incorporate techniques like layering items on top of each other, using tip-ins, or inserting photos or ephemera into pockets or slits, and adding envelopes to store extra mementos. Adding borders or frames around your photos can also make them stand out on the page. The key is to have fun and let your creativity flow as you create a visually engaging scrapbook journal that captures the essence of your travel experiences. Moreover, don't forget to leave ample space for journaling. Your written accounts will bring the visuals to life, capturing the emotions, sights, sounds, and personal reflections you experience during your travels. Use your favorite pens or markers to add captions, anecdotes, or longer narratives that will transport you back to those cherished moments. And finally, have fun and enjoy the process. Don't rush yourself. That's why taking down notes during trips is so important. It allows you to revisit those memories and details when you have the time to scrapbook journal later. Some of my scrapbook journals are made years after the actual trip, and those notes come in handy for recapturing the moments vividly. However, if you haven't taken down notes during your past travels, don't worry. You can still prepare a scrapbook-style travel journal by reviewing your photos thoroughly. As you sort through your images, try to recall the specific details, emotions, and stories associated with each one. Jot down any recollections that come to mind, no matter how small. These snippets will help bring your pages to life when you start journaling. Additionally, you can utilize online travel guides to research the locations featured in your photos. This can help jog your memory about the places you visited, the activities you enjoyed, and any interesting facts or trivia related to those destinations. Ultimately, the most important thing is to immerse yourself in the reminiscing process and let your creativity flow. Even if some details are hazy, your scrapbook travel journal will still capture the essence of your adventures and the emotions they evoked, preserving those precious moments for years to come. And there you have it, your guide to starting a scrapbook travel journal. I hope you feel inspired to capture your adventures in a creative and meaningful way that allows you to relive those special moments whenever you flip through the pages. To see more examples and inspiration, please check out my travel journal playlist linked in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and leave a comment letting me know what destination you're most excited to document in your own scrapbook journal. I always love hearing from fellow travel enthusiasts and journalers. Happy journey, crafty friends, and until next time, safe travels wherever your journey may take you. Bye!